Hey, it's Mike with TVE, and um, I'm at my good buddy Tim house, and we are doing a panel cleanup. Um, yeah, I'm actually mostly done with it. You know, when we, this started, it was just full of wires, you know, a lot of extra slack on some wires. Uh, we have knob and tube, we've got cloth wiring, uh, some grounded, some ungrounded, and it was just a real mess in here. Um, we, I'm gonna be adding a couple of circuits, so I wanted to get a, a panel tune-up um, and make sure it's all nice and neat in here so that there's um, no issues down the line. Um, basically, I've been cutting the, the extra wires off. I you know, cut the sheathing to uh, where it's only about an inch into the panel there. Uh, we tried to do 90 degree turns. Um, you know, that side is done. And now basically I'm just working on this right side. You can see there's like excess wire. You don't need all that. You know, you just want to cut that to about right there. And that's all you need. Um, you know, some of this old wiring, you can just do the best you can. It's all, you know, some of these you can't do 90 degree turns because the wire is too short. But, you know, you just you want to get it organized. Get your panel organized. That way, whoever works in it next can appreciate it and, uh, you know, identify um, hots, neutrals, and grounds a lot easier. So uh, we're just going to keep going here. Normally, I would have a insulated screwdriver. I certainly don't have one right now. Um, however, I have done this enough. I know exactly what to touch, what not to touch. And uh, I'm very, very safe inside these panels. So I tried to tuck my wires in a nice 90 degree turns, measure, and then I cut to fit, uh, getting rid, rid of all this extra wire that sometimes just gets in the way when you're in a panel and it can be a real pain to work around you know this gives me more room in here um and i'm kind of ocd i just i like straight lines and i like things to be neat especially my electrical panels so let's see here and then i kind of do all the grounds first and then I get all my neutrals together and, you know, I try to tuck them all in and in into the, the corner and, you know, I sometimes I'll even take a piece of wire and wrap them around a bundle or even a, even a zip tie and just give it a good, give it a good squeeze just to keep them all nice and tight. Uh, a lot of people are maybe wondering why am I using my dikes as wire strippers. Honestly, I, I only use like three tools ever, which is my linesman's, my dikes, and a screwdriver. Um, I don't know, man. I just, I've never used wire strippers. I just always was taught to strip it from a dike. It, I mean, you've got to be, you know, you got to know exactly how how tight to squeeze the wire so you don't nick it or strip it. But, uh, um, but if you're just starting out, it's, it's a good idea to get used to using wire strippers. I mean, they make them for a reason. I just, I know exactly how to do it there. Sorry, my hands a little shaky. I get shaky when I'm hungry. You want to make sure uh, you can have two grounds under the same lug if they're the same size. Uh, you absolutely cannot do that with neutrals. Look at this. This is a discolor. It's hard to see with the light, but see the discoloration on this neutral wire. I mean, that that one time is probably due from a loose connection, and it just heats this sucker up. I'm gonna put it back for now. We're eventually gonna rewire this whole place, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, but that's the type of things you want to look for when you're doing a panel cleanup is, you know, the condition of the wire you're, you're using. So, all right, here's the 
the rest of the neutrals over here. things in the panel you know you just don't want to touch your main lugs here these are hot the bus bar is hot if the breakers on the screws hot but you could touch the insulated wires and you're fine you could touch the ground and the neutral bars you're fine you just that's always been my fear like i didn't i've never known what i could and couldn't touch in there well yeah you know because you see wires everywhere and it's just intimidating it's it's scary as hell especially like when i first started doing this yeah i didn't even want to touch you know a wire like this i thought i would like i'm literally watching you and i get anxiety because i just don't know what's what <laughs> you know and really i like my anxiety is high yeah. it's all good but this I mean, is what you get when you get a professional that's right you've been doing it a long time and you know we're just know exactly what to touch and what not to There's all my neutral wires, so when I do a panel cleanup, I try to bundle them all together here, in a, and then I try to you know, tuck them all back. So there's plenty of room in the front if I need to add circuits, and now I do the same thing with my hot wires. I kind of try to bundle them together and in a row, and I, I bring them all over to the side. I figure out, well, what's my shortest wire? And that's probably going to go on my first breaker so I don't have to use wire nuts in the panel to extend it. So, and I, I start with the, the shortest wire and then I work my way down the panel here. And, and I just kind of do the same thing. I bring it down, I use my finger. Some people use a screwdriver. Try to get a nice 90 degree bend on it. You know, I put my finger here because that's where I know I need to cut the wire. And uh, I can cut all this extra off here. And then I just strip it out, you know, a quarter of an inch. And a lot of times, you know, people will take the breaker off um, and, and put the wire in just to... You know, sometimes it's easier, especially, especially if you get a panel that was like this before where it's just a mess in there. But now this, this panel's so clean that I don't even need to do that. I can leave the, the, uh, the breaker engaged here and, uh, you know, just tighten everything this way. You see it's a little looser, but that's fine. That's normal, um, you know, and then get my nice 90 degree turn. It's looking a lot better here. Um, this one is going to be my next short wire, so I try to tuck it into the side, get my finger, do my 90 degree turn, like so, grab, and cut there. Bada bing, bada boom. Tell at one point somebody changed the guts of this panel. The panel cover's older. Um, may have been an old Challenger now, but somebody changed it with the Siemens uh, guts. And when I say guts, I mean you know all of this stuff, not the can. you're doing these you don't want you know barely any wire sticking out the the back of a of a breaker you really you know just in case there's a flying ground somewhere you don't want it to arc out in there so you want to just cut it exactly oh here's a short one i probably should have used this first but we're gonna, 
We're gonna get the wire stretcher out. Just kidding. I said that the other day, and one of my employees asked me where he got he gets one of those. <laughs> they they don't exist. Is it like blinker fluid? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now blinker fluid actually does exist. Does it really? They sell it. And I think it's actually like a prank thing, but they sell it in like auto parts stores. to look at when you're doing this stuff is um you know what's around the panel like here's a regular outlet okay and you're like well what's wrong with that well it's got to be gfi protected it's in the basement and it's on the panel so you need that to be gfci protected is that for code that is per code um you want to we actually had a bunch of wires like this just in the panel that it was in this knockout here or this uh, connector here that weren't being used. So you're by code, you've got to remove that stuff too. Um, plus it gives you more room to add circuits, which we're going to do um, to this panel. So some code violations. Um, to look for is um, open knockouts. If there's open knockouts in here, you know, he doesn't really have any. He's got some connectors that don't have wire in it, but we're going to use those. Um, but these little things here are called knockouts. And sometimes, you know, you'll just see an open hole in a panel and you don't, you don't want that. So you've got to get these things. They're called KO seals. And you can guess what that stands for? knockout seals so um they're just like rubber grommets well they're actually metal metal okay yeah. and you know they come in all these different sizes and where, where can people find those at you can get, get those at any any local hardware store um like you know, homes low uh, home depot, home depot. Lowe's, yep any all those places sell them um you want to make sure that all your breakers, your circuits are fused correctly. So, you know, this is a 12 gauge wire. So you want to be using a 20 amp. You want to make sure they're not over fused. Um, and then you also want to make sure if you have two 40 volt circuits, that it, let's say it's a motor, you know, like an AC, where it doesn't require a neutral. Um, some guys, you know, they'll, let's say if it's 30 amp, they'll use 10-2, and then they'll hook the black wire up to phase A and the white wire up to phase B. But when you do that, you have got to properly phase that white wire now, um, because if you don't, you know, you're telling people it's white, you're, it's a neutral wire when it's really not. So phasing it, really, if you just took a black marker or a black electrical tape and you wrap it around the first six inches of the wire connected to the breaker, you are properly identifying that wire as a hot wire. Okay, we are actually almost done here. Um, looking a lot better isn't it Tim it looks really good so we're gonna do this a few more it's like a surgeon right there we go you can look at this like a chiropractor for electrical panels that's it man we are giving it an adjustment a tune-up um this pair this panel was actually very uh scary the first time i opened it <laughs> it was really it was thick wasn't it barking that, that it was barking at me a little bit yeah. we had a breaker it was actually this one up here we figured out it goes to the uh shed outside and they used regular romex that they direct buried into the ground and there was a short in it and so it would turn it on and be like pop and then it would make lights and had a house go on and off, which means it's back feeding the main panel and 
it's not good. So <laughs> that's, one of, <laughs> that's one of the first things that uh, we just completely removed because I'm gonna we're gonna do it right. We're gonna uh, use UF cable, bury it on over there, um, the proper depth and uh, set a little sub panel out there to get some lights and some outlets in there. Um, so a lot more live videos to come and TVE videos during this process too. We'll be making a bunch of TVE videos as well. New content coming guys. That's it. That is it. Let's go! Oh. TVE, we'll be back.